The latest version of SurfCam's part modeler has the ability to bring in 2D, DXF, and DWG drawings and turn them into 3D parts. In this example, I'm going to show you how to do that. To begin with, we move up to Insert, DWG, DXF. We're going to bring in a drawing called Bracket. It's in inch units, so we'll click OK on that. Here's our drawing. The first step is to define the views. We're going to move up here to define views and I'm going to start off by defining a top view. I'll simply draw a box around that and that will become our top view in this example. Next I'll define the front view and then we'll define the right side view. Once the views are defined, we click Create, and then we'll click Close. Now we've got a top, front, and right side view. Next, we're going to chain the perimeter of the views in each view uh, to create the 3D part. We'll go down here to Auto Loop, and I'm going to click on the perimeter in each view. There's our top view, chain our front view. And then we'll go over here to the right side view and define that. Once the perimeter has been defined, we go up to the gear shaped icon, auto feature, click on that, and there's our part. I'm going to expand this window here so we can see it a little more clearly. And we'll switch views so we can see the entire part. We'll just go into a isometric view fit it. And there's our part from a 2D drawing. Got some more work to do on it though, so we're going to do the holes next, the four holes that are shown in the top view. We'll do it in a similar way. I'm going to click on the four pieces of geometry that define the holes, but this time we're going to tell it that we want to extrude a cut completely through the part. So we'll pick the extrude feature here and just simply click OK. The holes appear and we can see that when we make the drawing larger. Got one more feature to do, the hole through the center. So we're going to do that in the same way. We'll go back up here, 2D, 3D view, auto loop, and go down to the front view and click on that circle. Then we'll go back to the extrude feature and click on OK. And there's our part. So as you can see, it's very easy in SurfCam's part modeler to import a DXF or DWG file, define the views, and then create your part uh, from the drawing.